Hello, my name is Brian Patrick. I am an Iron Speed MVP. And one of the questions that comes up in the forums a lot is what is a good report writer to use with Iron Speed Designer? And today I'm going to show you how to integrate one of my favorite report writers, and that is a report writer called Fast Reports. And particularly, I use fastreports.net, which is one of their versions of their report writer. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of reports that I've done in one of my applications, and then how to integrate uh, fast, that report from Fast Reports into the application in Iron Speed. So right now this is one of my applications that I've logged into, and I'm going to go ahead and do a do a, a search within my application. Okay, let me go ahead and do a search. Now in this particular application, I can go ahead and select which records I want to display in my report. And I have a couple of buttons. Uh, one here is called Sales Worksheet, and the other one is to go ahead and download uh, the information for each property in a specific uh, page on a separate page in a report. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and do the one called Sales Worksheet. Okay. This is what it looks like. You notice I selected four properties, and they're listed here. I have a little map of the properties, and then some detailed information of each of those. And this is done in a Fast Reports report. And one of the nice things I really like to do is you notice that right now the, the order is alphabetical. But what I can do is I can go ahead and I can actually uh, change the order of these. And the way that it works it is I actually look at the order of the, the show table within Iron Speed and pass that information along to the report. And I'll show you how to do that. Pass the information to the report so that when I view the report, they're actually in the exact same order as the show table page in Iron Speed. Just kind of adds a little touch, a nice little touch to make your 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 report uh, order be the same as the order that they're viewing on the on the page. So first of all, the first step obviously is to go ahead and and uh, you have to include IronSpeed into your I'm sorry, in Fast Reports into your IronSpeed application. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've opened the application in Visual Studio. I've opened that same application, and what we need to do is we need to add a reference to your Fast Reports uh, report writer. So the, you know I've already added them here, but what we need to do is go ahead and open up the references object references um, node in your project. Right click and say add reference. And then what we can do is we can go simply browse and then find our Iron Sp our Fast Reports installation. Okay. Notice here it is here Fast Reports. And what you want to include is you want to include several of the DLLs that are in that folder. Namely, you want to include fastreport.dll, the editor.dll, the web.dll, and the fastreportbars.dll. So go ahead and make references to those in your application within Visual Studio, and then compile your application. Okay? So you'll see them right here. Once they show up here, then you should be able to go ahead and use Fast Reports in your application. Okay? And this is what Fast Report Designer looks like. This is that sales worksheet that I just showed you in the Fast Report Designer. One reason I like Fast Report Designer is because they uh, have a standalone designer that you can generate your reports with it, save them as an FRX file, and then just include those with your application. I save this uh, this FRX file under the App Data folder in my app uh, in my IronSpeed application. Include it when I post it production. Okay. Now the next thing you can do in the designer is go ahead and view the report, make sure everything works the way we want. Okay, so now that we have our report designed and we've modified the uh, application to go ahead and link in all the DLLs for fast reports, then obviously the next step is to go ahead and have uh, your application do something with it when they click on a button or want to view a report. Okay, so what we have here is I'll go ahead and show you the code for my, my sales worksheet button. If I go to design mode and look at the sales worksheet button, you can see there's some code here and I've gone ahead and I've, I've gone ahead and I copied that to a notepad so we can take a look at it. Okay, so this is the code for the uh, the button click result, the uh, button click function for that sales worksheet. First thing I do is I check to make sure they've actually selected some records, and if not, I go ahead and display a warning that says, you know, you must select some properties you want to to create the report for. So the next step to do is to go ahead and, and put this line in your in your code, and what this does is this tells it this uh, config dot web mode equals true will keep fast reports from uh, popping up any kind of prompts for data or prompts for saving your your report or anything like that. That tells it that you're, it's a web application and therefore to, to kind of suppress all those warnings. Okay. Next step is to simply instantiate you know a fast report object and then load the report. 
Now the next steps here, I'm simply I'm go I'm iterating through my my table and I'm I'm finding out which controls have been checked and pulling out the the uh, primary key for the the rows that have been checked. Okay, and this little part right here, I go ahead and I look at uh, Iron Speed's uh, view state object for which is the sort order for the table, and I kind of build that into my SQL. So that way, when I'm displaying the SQL uh, reeling the SQL for the fast reports is going to match the selected records and the order by that's in my show table. Okay, and that's pretty much all this code is doing right here. So I'm building some SQL, selecting some fields from my database, go ahead and sorting it by the uh, the order. Now what we need to do is find out the uh, database object in fast reports and then replace the SQL with that. So you notice here I'm looking up and doing a, a uh, get data source within my fast report object and I'm replacing the SQL with my SQL that I generated on the fly. Okay. The other thing that I do is I'm actually setting some parameters in the fast reports. I can go ahead and, and uh, I have these three parameters in the reports. I'm also setting those values as well. So not only am I modifying the, the actual SQL that's uh, querying the database, I'm modifying some parameters that I'm using in other parts of the report. Then all that's left is to simply prepare the report and export it. You notice I'm doing a PDF export. I'm telling it to go ahead and embed the fonts in the report. That way, when you're viewing the report on some computers, that if they don't have the built-in font, uh, the fonts themselves are embedded in the PDF export. And then the last few lines are simply exporting it to a memory stream and then modifying the, uh, the page response so that it will uh, pop up that little option that says uh, you want to download the report or open it. And that's pretty much it. You know, on a simple button click, we can simply load a, a fast report, report, uh, set some parameters, and some actually modify the SQL for the for the report, and then uh, export it to a PDF, and then return that to the browser. And once again, this is what it looks like. So we have our page. We can simply select some values we want to display. Click on the button. It'll generate the fast report, and then we can simply open it or save it. If you have any questions on how to integrate, integrate uh, your fast report report into your application, please don't hesitate to uh, email me directly. My contact information is on the IronSpeed MVP page. Once again, my name is Brian Patrick. I'm an IronSpeed MVP, and this has been how to integrate uh, fast reports into your IronSpeed application. Thank you.